the other forward position, Dylan Brooks. At shooting guard, Jamal Murray. At the other guard position, Shea Gilgis Alexander. The head coach of the visiting team is Joe Mazzula. Our reporter. Now the starting group for the visitors. Kelly Olenek is out there with Lou Dort. Then there's Jamal Murray. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Brooks in at the small forward position. They've got Josh Giddy. Jock Landale is out there with Joe Ingles. Then there's Patrick Mills. And it's Exum in at the three. Small forward. Well, we got an old-fashioned matchup on our hands tonight, Grant. Two teams who deploy impactful big men. Yeah, B.A., and in a league where perimeter play so often is the deciding factor, tonight I expect this to be a slugfest inside. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Doris, how about the production we've been seeing from Shea Gilgis Alexander? B.A., he has taken that step from star to superstar, simply stated. I think he's got the potential to make multiple All-NBA teams, the ability offensively to attack at three levels, and to be equally good on the defensive end of the floor. This guy is something special. off on the second and here is Ingles and here's Mills from the arc and that one drops and it comes off an assist from Ingles I'm telling you this if you leave one of Ingles teammates open Joe is going to find him Gilgis Alexander finds Brooks now Murray Giddy defends Olenek with a screen on Mills Gilgis Alexander passes to Olenek. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Well, you love how Kelly Olenek works off the pick and roll. He knows exactly where to be. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Outside Murray. That's no good. Couldn't get his first one to go. Well, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. Axum gets the bucket. You know, outstanding start. You've made three of your first four. Now here's Giddy. Right now, he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. Ingles, good. 80% from the field to start, playing with a ton of confidence. Murray scanning the floor. The crossover. And it's good on the lay-in. Murray's got seven points. Yeah, nice play by Murray. A big guard who was unafraid to mix it up inside. Mills with it. In his last outing, he had 11 points. Ingles, a screen on Murray. 
Daniels passes to Ingles. And that one drops. 11 points in the game. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Shoots over Wiggins. The kick out to Ingles. On the wing, Daniels. Jacks up a three. And that one drops. And it comes off an assist from Ingles. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Powell against Mills. Here's the floater. And he lays it in. Mills has got 14. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. Up by 15. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. We've got R.J. Barrett. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Dwight Powell. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Nimhart in at the two. And it's Simmons with the jam. Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Right side, Gilgis Alexander. And Powell with the stuff. Well, there's a craftiness to the play of Shea Gilgis Alexander. Shifts the defense around to get his teammate an open look. Shooting 74%. Just an unbelievable offensive display here. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Nimhard, the pass to Powell. An easy two on the layup. Powell's got his second bucket of the night. Well, this is where Dwight Powell is in his element. All of those physical abilities coming to bear on the interior. Nicely done. Mills with it. Defended by Murray. From the baseline. That one goes in. Mills has got 24 points. Uh, Patty Mills in a real rhythm right now. Has to make the defense very uncomfortable. Dort for three. Hits the three-pointer. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Deflected. Excellent anticipation by Lou Dort to get his hands on that one. Gosh, this guy is relentless on that end. Just deadly from mid-range. He's got such a great feel for that shot. What's something that stuck out to you about Lou Dort's game, Doris? I guess the first thing that pops for me, B.A., is how hard he plays the game, how willing he is nightly on the defensive end of the floor to take on the opponent's best scorer, to not get down in the dumps when he's scored upon, and to bring the same effort no matter who he's playing and no matter what he's up against. Such a key right now. Thanks, Ali. Good stuff there. Here's Olenek, and that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. Shooting at a very efficient 67%. Mills, the pass to Exum. Dort against Ingles. Launches it. And Patty Mills gets a three. Mills has got 29. Oh, five threes this half. The D can't contain this guy. Here's Nimhart. Outside for Dort. Outside Murray. 
Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Off target with the three. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. On the wing, Brooks. Fires the three. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got four assists now tonight. Yeah, I know the guys love to see Brooks get in a groove like this. It gets the whole team fired up. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Up three. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. for you and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession nice game great performance by Patrick Mills he's hit shot after shot from deep he's so locked in right now well the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all he's in a great rhythm looking comfortable and confident and we're halfway through this one plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one Shooters can create contact and be rewarded with free throws, and the skill level on offense has truly raised. It makes it tough for the defender to really get down and play that tough nose defense. Shooting an efficient 64%. Excellent. Pass to Ingles. Here's Landale. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Ingles. Landale's got eight points. Well, more and more you see big men working on the outside shot, and this guy has one of the better ones in the league. Olenek with a screen on Ingles. Dort, the pass to Olenek. Nails it. He's now six for eight from the floor. Right. Olenek solid in the paint. Even with the defense right there, he keeps his eyes on the basket and finishes nicely. A wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. For the lead. A big triple. Gilgis Alexander. There are no easy comebacks, but they really had to dig deep for this one. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. They get it back. Back to Mills. There's a screen. They need this. Rebound by Olenek. Screen by Olenek. Gilgis Alexander passes to Olenek. And it's Olenek with a jam. Well, you see SGA in the strides he's making as a playmaker. This guy is so good, on point with his reads. He's an unbelievable passer. That's so true, B.A. He has incredible vision. And what's most striking to me is if he rebounds it and goes, the ability to push tempo, the ability to use that incredible vision to put pressure on in transition, it is probably his greatest strength. Here's Simmons. And slam dunk by Simmons. This close to the rim, Ben Simmons just leaves, no doubt. Out to the wing, from deep, on target from range. And if there's a teammate open on the floor, Simmons will put it on time and on target. Good to get a 44% clip in the third. Here's Simmons, and it's Simmons with the jam. This team looks so focused out there trying to increase their lead. You know, they can make things much easier on themselves in the fourth if they just have a few more possessions like that. 
shooting 59% on this one. A good average. Wiggins outside. It's Powell on the wing. Give him eight. Will it go? And Powell with the scuff. If Powell's on the court, he's a threat to dunk it. Incredible athleticism. So it's the home team now. 17 points was their biggest margin. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Simmons against Wiggins. On the attack, Simmons. Over Wiggins. And that one's good. Simmons. Simmons has got 10 points in just the second half. Boy, it's nice to see Ben Simmons catch a little rhythm offensively right here. Murray for three. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth. Up seven. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. Snyder with some words for his players. Let's just keep playing with the same intensity. Okay? On misses, you guys really run in space. Anyone can bring it. Trying to maintain that edge right now. Coach Snyder encouraging his guys. Solid advice from Coach Snyder. Wanting his squad to remain engaged. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Andrew Wiggins is out there with R.J. Barrett. To the middle. Here's Simmons. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Guard skills, but a big time forward or center type body. Ben Simmons making it happen inside. Simmons against Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Ooh, bouncy. That should give him a nice lift. Good timing. They needed that one. Well, sometimes it's about taking it into your own hands. That kind of individual play could spark his group. Outside Giddy. Here's the pick. Pass to Daniels. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Giddy's got nine assists now tonight. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. He's guarded by Mills. Good on the bucket. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Mills against Gilgis Alexander. Angles from outside. Drops in the three. Ingles got five points now this quarter. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Olenek with a screen on Mills. Gilgis Alexander attacking. Ooh, Shea driving it with a purpose. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. Ingles is screened on Murray. Giddy passes to Ingles. Here's Exum. Three-pointer. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Ingles. Ingles has got six assists now in the game. Gilgis Alexander against Mills. That one's good for two. Gilgis Alexander's got 35 in the game. Now, Shea Gilgis Alexander has now emerged into a superstar. And on nights like this, guys, he's unstoppable. Pass to Landale. Back to Ingles. To the wing on the left. Six to shoot. Here's Landale. 
Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Kelly Olenek. And he makes both free throws. A minute six left in the fourth. Mills against Gilgis Alexander. SGA working through contact inside. Yeah, teams will try to get physical with SGA, but make sure you understand that wiry frame is big time strong. So it's the home team now. Now Kitty out left to the wing. Here's Exum. He takes it in. The kick out to Ingles over Dort. Ingles, no good. Brooks against Mills. With a nine-footer. And it's Brooks missing. And they're so close to putting this game away. Yeah, B.A., you don't have to do anything crazy. Just run the clock and don't turn it over. Murray passes to Gilgis Alexander. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Gilgis Alexander's got 40 points. And that's an intentional foul. First free throw is good. And that makes it a seven-point lead. When you look at Josh Giddey's overall skill set and combine that with the 6'8 size and the point guard mindset that he has, he is special. The playmaking, the willingness to score it in tough spots. This guy has got a bright future. Guys, your thoughts? A lot to talk about here, but hey, this game is likely out of reach. Well, maybe it could wait until after the game because this one is over. Murray for three. It's tipped. My goodness, Josh Giddy using every bit of that frame to send that one back. Here's Giddy, oh! and he commits the intentional foul. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a seven-point game. Guys, what do you think? Now, it's an opportunity for a teaching moment. I'm sure Coach will waste no time making his points. Well, maybe not his time, but this game is certainly finished. Let's get it over with. Nine seconds left in the fourth. They get it back. Outside for Dort from deep three-point land. Oh, he buries it from outside. My goodness, Lou Dort in the clutch. We see you, young sir. And so the home crowd treated to a win. I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory, but a win's a win. And, and so true, but you have to credit the crowd for giving them such a big boost toward the end. It really kept this team's energy high. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Joe, as usual, you guys did a great job of working it around. What's allowed you to be successful offensively? I think just like you said, just that we've got unselfish guys. We move the ball. Um, obviously, making shots helps the end of that. But all season, we've had a, an unselfish team. We enjoy playing together, and uh, I think it shows when we play like we did tonight. Congrats on the great teamwork tonight. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks.